A sales pipeline is a set of custom stages that your new contact flows through. Usually starting as a prospect or new lead, this contact makes their way through your sales pipeline to ultimately become a new customer. Hey guys, Stuart here. Welcome back to this channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Now today I'm going to walk you through how you can create and use a sales pipeline so that you can better manage your sales process. And we're going to cover all this in HubSpot's free CRM. Okay, so before we dive into sales pipeline management with HubSpot, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note, let's go ahead and launch into HubSpot to create, set up and manage your sales pipeline. Okay, so like I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, what we're going to do is dive into sales pipeline management and share how you can create, set up and manage your sales pipeline through HubSpot. This is going to allow you to track the progress of your deals as well as further manage and optimize your sales process. Now, the reason we're using HubSpot's free CRM for the purpose of today's tutorial is because this is an all-in-one CRM that allows you to manage all your leads, prospects, your customers in one place, as well as engage in sales pipeline management, task management, and different areas of marketing like email marketing, building landing pages, and all this is completely for free. Now, if you're completely new to HubSpot and you want to learn all the different features that HubSpot has to offer and how you can fully leverage this free CRM, then what we'll do is link a complete beginner's tutorial that will take you through how to get started and make the most of HubSpot's free CRM. So go ahead and check that out before diving into this video if you like. Okay, so once you've signed up for free with HubSpot's CRM and you've completed the initial sign up process, you will arrive at your dashboard. Now it might look slightly different because this is a test account that we've used in previous tutorials. So some of the information you will see on our account are from previous tutorials. Now to get started with sales pipeline management, all we need to do is navigate up to sales at the top left hand corner click here and then come down and locate deals. And this is where you can find and manage your sales pipeline within HubSpot. Now, if we come down here next to deals, what we can do is change the view of our sales pipelines. For example, if we click the list view, that's going to take us to a list view of our sales pipeline. But what we want to do is view our sales pipeline on a board view. And the board layout just gives us a more visual view of our sales pipeline and our stages within our sales pipeline. And if we like, we can go ahead and customize our sales pipeline the way that we like based on our sales process. Now, the job of your sales team will be to track these deals in order to move a prospect or new lead through the sales pipeline to ultimately become a customer or a closed deal. So for example, if we won this new customer or we closed this new deal, what we would do is drag this deal into closed one. And as you can see, you've won your first deal. If I exit out of this and come down here, let's say I lost this customer and the contract didn't go through. What I can do is drag this deal over to closed and lost. And as you can see, we've lost $10,000 because that is the value of this deal that we did not win. So basically the sales pipeline allows us to track the process of our deals that your sales team is working on and allows you and your team to further plan and optimize your marketing and sales activities so that you can better streamline your sales pipeline and your sales process. Now what we're going to do is customize our sales pipeline by editing these sales stages by simply navigating up to board actions and then coming down to edit stages. 
Now, if we navigate over to select a pipeline, this is where you can select a pipeline that you want to customize. Now, with the free HubSpot CRM, you only have access to one sales pipeline. If you want to create an additional sales pipeline, then you do need to upgrade to a paid plan. However, for small and local businesses, HubSpot's free CRM is sufficient enough. So what we're going to do is exit out of this and navigate down to our stage names. What we can do is simply customize each of these stages the way that we like. So if I navigate up to our first stage in our sales pipeline, what I'm going to do is change this to prospects. And then next to naming our stage, we can also delete the stage. We can add a deal probability. So for example, if I click here, I can come down and enter an amount or I can select an amount from the options provided down here. So what I'm going to do is keep 20% selected. And basically each stage within our sales pipeline will have a higher probability as we flow towards a deal or lead being closed in terms of winning that deal or losing that deal. So what I'm going to do is quickly go ahead and customize each of these deals before I walk you through each of these sales stages within our sales pipeline. Okay, so as you can see, I've quickly made changes to our stages in our pipeline based on our sales processes. Now up here in our first stage in our sales pipeline, we have prospects. Now these are unqualified leads that have come into our business. These are new contacts that we might have generated through our landing page that we can create for free with HubSpot's free CRM. So once you've generated a new contact, what we're going to do is turn that into a prospect. So this is the first stage of our sales pipeline. And then once our prospect becomes a qualified lead, they move into this next stage of our pipeline. Then once we've set up a presentation or meeting, we then move that deal onto this stage. Then once we've defined the prospect's needs, this is the following stage. Then once an offer has been sent to this client, to this potential client, this lead, then we can move the deal down to negotiation and final proposal. And over here, you can see that there is a 90% probability that this contact, this new lead, this prospect will convert into a new customer where we can move the deal into closed one. Or if the deal fell through, then unfortunately we would have to move that deal into closed and lost. So go ahead and customize your sales pipeline the way that you like. You can also drag each of these stages to different positions of your pipeline. And then down here we can go ahead and we can create a new deal stage if we like by simply clicking here and simply add the new stage and change the probability. And then you can simply drag this new deal to any position within your pipeline. But what we're going to do is delete this stage and then navigate over to save. And as you can see, your pipeline was updated. Now, if we navigate back up to the top, we can also come down to automate. Again, if you want to automate your sales pipeline, you do need to upgrade to a paid plan. And if you're interested in getting more out of HubSpot's CRM, then check out the Sales Hub Starter to get access to more advanced features, for example, automation, and you can add additional sales pipelines within your HubSpot CRM. Okay, now what we're going to do is navigate up to sales and then come down to deals. And here you can now see the changes to our deal stages within our pipeline. Okay, now to create a new deal, simply navigate up to create deal in the top right hand corner. And as you can see, I've quickly gone ahead and filled out the information to create a new deal. So first down here, we have the deal name app development client A. This is an app development contract that we want to push so we can develop an app for this particular client. Down here we have the pipeline, so we can select the pipeline here. Remember with HubSpot's free plan, you only have access to one pipeline. Then down here we have deal stage. So this deal is going to begin at the first stage of our pipeline, which is prospects. However, we can click here and we can choose if this client is already a qualified lead or at any of these other stages. Now, because we know that this client wants an app developed, we already know that they are a qualified lead. So we're going to select 
qualified lead. And then below that, we can add the value of the amount of this project, this deal. We can add a close date down here. Then we have the deal owner, which is myself. I'll be managing this deal through our pipeline. Then below that, we have deal type. We can select new business, or if we click here, we can also select existing business if this business already exists and maybe we've already closed multiple deals with this business and now we're starting a new project with them. But we're gonna keep new projects selected. Then down here we have priority. We can select a priority, low, medium, high. We have one month to close this deal. So we're gonna select medium for now. And then if we scroll down, we can associate the deal with a company. So this is the company that is associated with this deal. Now we can also add timeline activity from Cindio to this deal. So this is activity of this company that you've had interactions with. It could be notes, uh, it could be calls, it could be meetings. You'll be able to see that activity over the last 30 days. So if I click here, you can see that we can see activity of this business on our deal for the last 30 days. And we can change this if we like. We're gonna keep 30 days selected. Then down to contact, we want to associate this deal with a company and a contact. This is the manager of this company. So we're gonna be dealing with this contact. Now down here, again, what we wanna do is add the activity that we've had with Sammy Smith to this deal, starting from 30 days. And then once you've added all that information, simply come down to create or create and add another deal. What we're gonna do is click create. And this is where we can manage all the activity with this particular deal. So for example, over here, we can create a new note, we can create an email, we can make a phone call, we can log a phone call, email or meeting, we can create or add a task, and then we can schedule a meeting. So this is where we can manage all the different activities with the company, with the contact that we are communicating with to ultimately close this deal. Now, if we navigate over to deals over here on the left-hand corner, you can see this deal in our pipeline under the stage qualified lead. Now, again, if we click on this lead, that's gonna generate basic information on the right hand side that we can customize the way that we like. Then to view and edit the entire record, what we can do is come down and click view record. And that's gonna bring up all the deals information and activity that we mentioned earlier. So again, what we're gonna do is navigate over to deals on the left hand corner, and that's gonna take us back to our sales pipeline. And remember, you can simply drag and drop each deal to different stages within your pipeline once the specific action has been completed. And the fundamental activity for moving your deals, your contacts, your prospects and leads through your sales pipeline is to follow up. And you can follow up through email, phone call, text, whatever communication platform works best for your contacts. Now, one of the complimentary features that HubSpot's free CRM has to offer is email marketing activity. So if you navigate up to marketing and then come down to marketing, this is where you can create marketing campaigns. You can send broadcasts, you can send newsletters. Basically what you can do is provide value about your business products and service to your contacts. And what that's going to do is further provide the information that your contacts need in order to move through the sales pipeline and become a customer, a client and buy from you. Now your sales pipeline will also allow you to further manage and optimize your sales process. For example, in your sales pipeline, you might identify indications like large durations between each stage in your pipeline. So let's say presentation or meeting stage, you have a deal in here and you might notice that moving a deal from this stage to define prospects needs is taking a large amount of time. And this will indicate that you need to better streamline your sales process for specific stages within your pipeline. So basically what you wanna do is review the health of your sales pipeline each week or month, and this allows you to identify issues in your sales process that you need to work on. And that is a beginner's overview of how you can create and manage a sales pipeline within HubSpot's 
free CRM. Now, if you want to learn more about all the different features that HubSpot's free CRM has to offer, then what I'll do is link all our tutorials down below in the description that will show you how to leverage email campaigns, email marketing, build landing pages, and more within HubSpot. And there we have it guys, that is it for our sales pipeline tutorial for beginners, helping you get started with sales pipeline management within HubSpot. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.